On June 2nd, 2022, Breeze Airways began non-stop service from Nashville, Tennessee to Tulsa, Oklahoma. I've been wanting to be a part of a non-stop flight for quite some time now, and I finally got an opportunity to do so with this new service. Join me as we check out the inaugural service celebration at Tulsa International Airport. This is going to be a blast, so let's dive into it. I have just arrived at Tulsa International Airport after experiencing Breeze Airways for the very first time. Be sure to check out that trip port if you haven't already. As we arrived to the gate, a flight attendant let us know that cake and ice cream were at the gate to celebrate this new flight. Tulsa International Airport has been known for having fun celebrations for new routes, so I was very excited to see them celebrating this service with the same recognition. Let's get inside and see what this celebration is all about everybody. Wonderful day. Have you check any luggage, it'll be at Carousel 6. And welcome to the celebration, everybody. So excited for the celebration, and man, what a vibe this was for lack of a better term. This is absolutely awesome, as you guys can see. So just an awesome atmosphere, to say the least. So many people excited about the new route, talking about it, the convenience, just like I was talking about in the Nashville layover vlog. This was absolutely awesome. It was so cool to get to see this moment. I mean, like I said, I've never got to be a part of an inaugural flight, so it was so cool to get to come back to my hometown and see everybody so excited about the new route. So, of course, this isn't the biggest airport in the world, about 25 nonstop destinations. Nation. So when we do get a new service or a different aircraft or something like that, it is very exciting. As you guys can tell, it was absolutely awesome. So this was so cool. So over there on the table, as they said, there was ice cream and cake, which was really nice. And there'll be some upcoming pictures of that here in a moment. But it was an absolutely killer red velvet cake. Great job by Tulsa National Airport for providing that. That was so good. It was absolutely awesome. I believe there's also some cupcakes over there and some ice cream as well, like I said. So that was absolutely awesome. Sorry I didn't get a full picture of it. I didn't want to disturb everybody. It was really busy because who doesn't like those free amenities? But there was also some different things including an a inaugural Nashville flight card which was really cool as you guys can see in the upcoming pictures so that was an absolute blast there was also some really cool uh, I guess merchandise if you want to call it that including a Tulsa International Airport cowboy boots uh, coaster or not whatever they call those things I don't know exactly what they're called but that was really cool and then they had water of course and all that fun stuff so very awesome to see this and man it was just so cool so seeing Breeze expand is awesome I mean I, I don't even know where to begin especially in such a unique route like I said in the trip port there could have been some better choices in my opinion but just see a new route like I said I mean I didn't really care that it was such a weird route if you will I was just so excited to be a part of an inaugural flight and it's so exciting to see what Breeze Airlines or Breeze Airways excuse me is doing and just in general it was so cool we'll have some more upcoming content soon just about what Tulsa International Airport is doing in general and hopefully some on Breeze too just to assess the full uh the progress in the recent years and just so cool to see so this was absolutely awesome and I, I don't even know where to begin this is super cool so we have some upcoming Upcoming video clips to take a look at, so let's take a look at those. Is there were some really cool moments there, and I'm very excited to share those with you guys. So let's do that. All 
Alrighty, everybody, I'm the last one here, and I'm here to see if they're gonna do water can slit. I hope so, um, but really solid. Um, of course, you got the banner here. We'll go take a bit or look at that here in a moment, but here's where the cake was and everything. Sorry, I didn't get the best footage of that, but that was looking great. <clears throat> Obviously, Breeze took Bravo 9 from Frontier, so here's all the gates uh, screen and everything. So there's the gay little <laughs> leftover cake in the gate agents. Then you got, I don't know why it's lowercase b, Bravo 9, Breeze 521, Nashville 530. You got the breeze checking area, which is great. And then last but certainly not least, the excellent hashtag fly Tulsa uh, banner here, which is phenomenal. They did a good job with that. So looks great, um, phenomenal. Um, already got pictures of the Southwest Max. Been wanting to see one of those for a long time, but one plane that never ever gets old and I just cannot believe chose to show up is the American Airlines 737-800 in the Chrome Heritage Paint Scheme. I've seen this thing, I think, five or six times at this point. I never get tired of seeing it. That's probably the best lighting I've also seen it in. Very debatable, but there we go. Sorry. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I showed you the guys, but obviously we have a little microfiber cloth. I think that's what that's gonna be, I'm not sure. Um, a boot with Tulsa International Airport and the inaugural paper, which is great, so. Very, very nice. Um, if they do water can salute, this would be perfect. Um, I really hope they will. Um, I'm not seeing any fire trucks, so I'm definitely patiently waiting because why not? And they should be getting ready to disembark everything here very quickly. So, uh, but here's the 190 itself. It's a really good plane, man. It's a very nice, yep, jet bridge coming off. It's a really good plane. Um, I was really happy with everything there nashville did a really bad job with their inaugural they did nothing uh the gate agents just said a couple more things than that but yeah there it is right there um i think that's a pair of david clark's on the tug guy that's awesome so uh but yeah it was super super great um it was phenomenal absolutely incredible so really really nice um but yes they did a great job and a great point at breeze excited to flight 220 very soon very nice to take a look at that. Very nice. But yeah, super excited. I think they just got to keep promoting. And I mean, there were, there was like 70 here. There was quite a few. So they, they're not 100% by any means, but they are definitely much more than what we had coming in, which it ended up being like 40 or 50. So it wasn't bad for the first flight. I'll be sure to take a look at loads going forward, of course. But I think just a little bit of promotion. I think their two, Thursday, Sunday setup's pretty good. Maybe even change it to Friday. I don't know, but that's a phenomenal plane right there, man. The Breeze 190 is great. Um, definitely just nice and easy i think the worst thing that happened was my app glitching out for the boarding pass but that's it man i mean it's really incredible uh, there's a luggage loader right there really nice love to operate one of those things one day of course you got your baggage carts well tugs over there as well um and we don't cater here of course this is not a home station so yeah no catering here but man that's incredible so um but yes They've done such a good job. I'm really excited. Um, hopefully, they'll be a part of more inaugurals to come. That was my very first one, so very nice. Um, looks like that drops. Or actually, that's supposed to be on there. That's a roller, so very nice. But yeah, just seeing if they're going to do a water can salute here. And then I want to maybe go up in the garage. That's my thought. So I may go up in the garage and see. But yeah, I mean, that's insane, man. So because obviously, we landed 3 6 right, but envoy took off at 8, which was. Yeah, phenomenal. Um, so, yep, disembarking oxygen or supplemental, whatever it is. I think it's oxygen. Um, yeah, uh, Bravo 9 was added only four years ago. It's a great job bridge. It does a really good job. So, glad Breeze gets to utilize the jet bridge at the frontier. Scooted out, unfortunately. You guys saw a couple of remains from them. And um, yeah, that over there, I want to go talk about that because that's pretty funny that this is still here. So they still have the baggage carry on, which is pretty funny. I don't know why this is still here, but they do. So, um, but yeah, I saw this in Nashville more in detail, but yeah, this is still here, which is pretty funny. So might as well come over here and look at it. Um, but as far as I'm aware, they're done. Maybe they come back. I don't know. Oh, this is a better perspective over here. Breeze. I didn't realize that I can get this part down here. Yeah, this is great. Let me get a little bit farther. There we go. A little bit of rain on there, but not good. So yeah, just have to wait and see if they're gonna do water can. 
Okay, there we go on some good pictures. So that was awesome. Um, so, yep, here we go. So getting ready to push. Uh, we'll watch it from this angle. I think we'll be pretty good. So again, not seen any fire trucks. Not to completely lose hope there, but it probably would have been out by now. So you know, Bree's gonna push here. We'll get some great picks. Um, the sun's in an interesting spot for this gate, so we should be able to get a couple. So I'll film the majority of it till they start turning it. Um, they will probably turn it out and back as uh, they did this morning. So. Probably gonna do some spotting because I mean, guys, look at the weather. It's amazing out here. There's a couple clouds right there, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Should pass in a few minutes, so. Uh, but yeah, no checked bag or anything, of course. But yeah, I thought the breeze, nicest cabin was pretty good. Not bad, pretty good. So maybe could have been a little bit better, but I mean, uh, I, I'm just talking talk. I thought the uh, complimentary, oh, here we go. I thought the complimentary water and uh, uh, protein bar was great, whatever you want to call that. I thought the, um, what else I think? Checked bag, of course, if you had one. Leg room was phenomenal. Would have worked for anybody, even a 6'6 guy. He, uh, I thought it was great. We'll talk about it. We already talked about it, of course, but man, just incredible. Alrighty, so from there, Breeze pushed back, taxied over to Runway 8, which was really interesting. I don't know why, but they ended up taking Runway 8, and they took off back out to Nashville, which was really cool. Also want to give a huge shout out to Skylight Productions for being on this flight. Somehow I did not end up end up meeting him, which was so crazy, because I didn't know what he looked like, and I guess that he must have missed me, which was unfortunate, but luckily we ended up getting to meet recently at an Aviation Day at Tulsa International Airport, which was so much fun, and definitely expect more where that came from, like I said earlier in the video, but what an awesome celebration this was. It was really cool to get to encompass the details especially since i was able to live narrate that last portion of that which was really cool since there was literally nobody back there so that was really cool but all those thoughts are still valid besides the nashville uh inaugural celebration end up being after the fact so that ended up turning out really well i still wish they would have did a little something for the inbound and outbound flight right there but hey you can't complain it happens and i can't complain with it it's all good and I'm, i love to see it right here for breeze tulsa international airport and everybody else involved in nashville too so absolutely awesome i really hope you guys enjoyed this video it was quite a unique one, but I thought it'd be cool to encompass these details and dive into what it was like to see a celebration. It was really cool to get to see all those details. Again, you guys heard all that chatter. So awesome to see. I'm really excited to see where this route will go from here, and I hope you guys are as well. So with all that being said, that will do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Redditor Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do what you love and love what you do. My name is Redditor Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Redditor Aviation is signing off.